Hi Justin, my name is Guillermina Rojas, I am a practitioner. I will be asking some questions and later perform a physical exam. Do you have any skin concerns? Have you seen any changes in the appearance of your skin? Do you have any rash? Could you tell me more about your rash? When did you first notice the skin lesion? What shape is the skin lesion? Have you seen the skin lesion itching or bleeding? What other symptoms do you have related to it? Does anything seem to make the rash worse? Does anything make the rash better? Do you wear sunscreen? Do you know if any of your partner or sibling has had a skin illness in the past? Is there anyone in your family that had multiple moles or a history of skin cancer? When was the last time you had a clinical skin examination? Do you have any pigmented area for your body? Have you had a rash like this in the past? What disease do you have as a child? Do you have any chronic illnesses? Do you have any respiratory tract infection recently? Have you ever been hospitalized? Have you ever experienced pain in any part of your body? Have you ever had any surgery? Have you ever experienced an accident or injury? Do you have any allergy? Have you traveled recently? Could you describe a typical day for you? What kind of diet do you have? What are your sleep habits? Do you drink alcohol? Do you use any recreational drug? Do you drink coffee? What do you do for fun? How is your relationship with your family? What kind of work do you do? Do you have any stressor in your life? Do you have any religion affiliation? From the data that I have collected for this patient, the possible diagnosis is tinea corporis. Tinea corporis is a dermatophyte caused superficial fungal skin infection of the body. Tinea corporis found all over the world. The location of the lesion, which may involve the trunk, neck, arm, and leg. It's characterized by a prurite, round, erythematose, or hyperpigmenting scaling patch. A central clearing follow with a high active boundary remaining. An annular plaque form as a result, giving the illness its popular name, ringworm. Tinea corporis outbreak can also occur in athletes who had a skin to skin contact. I would recommend for the diagnosis a fungal culture and KOA test. A tiny piece of affected skin will be scraped onto a slide for KOH and droplet of a liquid called potassium hydroxide will be placed on it. The KOH disintegrates normal skin cell, allowing the fungal component to be seen under a microscope. For the fungal culture can begin to grow in a little as five days, while particular species can take up to four weeks. The differential diagnosis would be numular eczema, erythema annular centrifugum, tinea versicolor, cutaneous candidiasis, Susacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus, pityriasis rosea, contact dermatitis, atopic dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis, and psoriasis. Okay, Justin, thank you very much.